we need to pray. Pray before and pray after. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Pray before and pray after. Pray that God will continue to guide us as we strive to be faithful to Him and His cause here on earth. We need to pray that God will continue. If God don't continue to guide us, we'll go to the right or go to the left. I know Cuz probably know in his car we got that automatic driving. And then when you veer off on the left on hit the white line, it'll pull you back over. Yeah. What you say? Yeah. So when we don't pray and we get off off balance, we need to get God to pull us back in line. Come on. Yeah. The Holy Spirit can do that when you pray and, and meditate. When you recognize Him, recognize Him, who He is, and what He is, and what He have done for you, and let the Holy Spirit continue to dwell in you. When you veer off, He'll pull you back over. If you allow Him to. Back again. There has to be a willing heart and have to be humble and have to have obedience. And what do you say? Obedience is better than sacrifice. Come on now. So we need to understand that we need to be willing to devote ourselves totally. Not half. Amen. Totally to the Lord. Because it say that David here in this, yeah. he was totally gave all. Mm -hmm. David made preparations that he couldn't build the temple, mm -hmm. but he made preparations to get the material yeah. to build the temple. Yeah. And when he got the preparations to build the temple, and when the congregations all saw what he was doing, well, they all jumped in too. Yeah. Wow. But David even uh, made step and made the extra mile. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. yes, he did. David say yeah. that I done collected all of this for the house of God. But I'm going to go in my pocket. I'm going to give you all that I got to help with this. And David had some money. David put out some money. Read the text. David came out of his pocket of his own to help with the the building of the temple. Yeah, yeah, 